okay? When you list a point and you list it like a point like this, what comes first, the x or the y? The x. The x. Everybody understand that? So this first thing is going to be this distance. And the second point is going to be that distance. You guys following me so far? Okay. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to draw that triangle on my sheet of paper. We're just taking this nice and slow. Stay with me. This picture does not need to be perfect. You're drawing that triangle. It is 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Okay. Do we know any sides of this triangle? Yes. Yes. No, the bottom is not one. It is a unit circle, though, so something is one. Yeah? The hypotenuse, because that's the radius. Does everybody see that the radius is one on a unit circle? So on this triangle, the hypotenuse is one. Go get a prize. So this is one. Okay, now let's compare that to this triangle up here where we know the rules. The hypotenuse says that 2x is equal to this, right? So what's x? One half, because one half times two makes one. You okay with that? I could also write right here, 2x equals one, solve for it, and get x equals one half. So I'm going to put one half over here because that little short side is one half. And then, how come I didn't? How come I put it over here? Because what? <laughs> I, I never quite hear what you have to say, Avery. You always have a response, and I look at you and say what, and then you look at me like, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I would rather die. Okay. So this is this. Do you see how it's just the triangle kind of flipped and turned? This side is x times the square root of 3, or 1 half times the square root of 3. You don't need a calculator. 1 half times the square root of 3. How do I multiply two things where one thing's a regular number and one thing's a fraction? That's if you had an equal sign between them. Just put this over 1. The square root of 3 over 2. So this distance down here is a square root of 3 over 2, and this distance right here is 1 half. And then that, hype, that radius is 1. You guys okay with this so far? Okay. So now... I would suggest that you grab two colored markers. <laughs> you can. I've got a mess of highlighters here, too. Somebody wants one of those.
All right. It's a darker color than that. So I'm going to color in my triangle on my unit circle the bottom edge of the triangle one color and the edge that is going up a different color. When you write a point, the first thing that you write first is what? X or Y? X. X. So we're going to put X right here. And Y is going to be the second number. So according to the picture I drew, what is that blue, for me, blue distance down here? Square root of 3 over 2? So up here in my point, I'm going to write the square root of 3 over 2. And this height is what? One half. One half. Now, while we're at it, because we just did a 30, 60, 90 triangle, now we're going to do the exact same triangle, except for this time we're talking about the 60. My son last night was like blowing his nose and not feeling so good. And I was like feeling his head and he was like starting to get a little bit of fever. And I was like, man, if I have to take a sick day tomorrow, how am I going to put this conversation into sub notes? I wouldn't be able to. I'd just be like, review or something. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to try again. I'm going to I'm going to draw another one. We're only drawing, by the way, if you're like, oh my gosh, are we going to draw triangles in this whole thing? We're just doing that for this first quadrant. So we're going to do a 45-45, a 30-60, and a 60-30. Um, so I'm going to draw another picture on my sheet here. This one's going to look like this. Sixty degrees. 30 degrees. You guys remember how Michael said that the radius was 1? Where's the radius on this triangle? And look, I'm comparing this triangle, this triangle, look again, some of you weren't looking at me, this triangle, that one. 